Today, we're going to learn how to copy things from one DaVinci Resolve project to another, and more importantly, how to quickly switch between multiple projects like a pro. So, I've got two projects. In my previous project, which I've now opened, I want to copy different clips and effects from this project over to a new project that I'm working on. For example, I want to reuse this animation from my previous video. If you're on DaVinci Resolve 18.5 or later, you can now set the default length of all your future transitions with this button. I'll just copy the clips using Command C, go back to the Project Manager, and open my new project. I paste it in under my screenshot, and it automatically imports the media. Beautiful. Let's cut it here at the end using Command B, delete the extra, and fade out the dark half. Perfect. So this method of copying between projects works great, but it's still too inefficient. There must be a better way. For example, I've got two timelines here, and DaVinci Resolve makes it super easy to see all my timelines and switch between them. Up here, I can click on the name of my open timeline to see a list of other timelines in my project. Let's open Timeline 2. Easy, right? If only there was a way to do the same thing, but with my DaVinci Resolve projects. Turns out, this feature already exists. Let's go back home to the Project Manager using the keyboard shortcut Shift-1. Notice that there is a check on the project that we have opened. Right-click, and there it is, Dynamic Project Switching. I'll click it to enable the feature, and then I'll open my previous project. Since I've already opened both of the projects that I want to work with, I can click my project's name at the top to quickly switch between my open projects. Amazing! And we're back! On the Fairlight tab, that's Shift-7, I've got audio tracks with the effects, dynamics, and EQ all dialed in. I want this configuration copied to the audio tracks of my new project. I'll copy from my voiceover track, open my new project, and paste this configuration onto the voiceover track in my new project. Same goes for my music track configurations. Copy, switch over, and paste. It's so much quicker this way. Instead of going to the project manager and reloading the project every single time. You may have noticed that I've got three timelines here to choose from. Let's click this one. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. If you're enjoying the channel, please drop a like, subscribe, and share this video on your social media to help other video editors. Have a blessed day.